Behind these doors, Vincent Lambert's medical team is getting ready for his death. The 42-year-old has been in a vegetative state for over a decade, kept alive thanks to feeding tubes. Treatment his doctors have now stopped. Rachel Lambert has always held the same position. She wants the will of her husband to be respected. She can only be satisfied. Now she sees that the doctors are carrying it out. Lambert's wife, Rachel, at least five of his siblings, the highest court in France and even the European Court of Human Rights support the decision. Medical experts say his brain damage is irreversible. However, the patient's parents believe his state could improve in a specialised hospital. We are gradually switching him off, little by little. They're Nazis, that's what I think. I won't tell you what I think they deserve. Lambert's parents and their supporters say it's euthanasia in disguise. The practice is banned in France, but doctors are allowed to end medical care in specific circumstances. The French Catholic Church and the UN body on disabled rights called on authorities to wait. In 2013, doctors, with his wife's consent, halted Lambert's treatment for weeks. This until the parents launched a legal battle to keep him alive. Lambert's six-year struggle has become symbolic of the debate on the right to die. The 42-year-old didn't leave behind instructions on what to do if he were in this situation, but his wife and his nephew insist that the former nurse was against relentless medical treatment.